he's just not close enough. It's at last a dry day when I'm not at work. <laughs> so we're gonna go and see if we can climb up Foxhole. Just bumped into an ex-student who's just finishing his F1 year. He's just been climbing and climbing all the hard stuff, climbing all the stuff I can't climb. <laughs> Marmalade skies looks dry. Six eighth the left looks dry. There's stuff to do. Other than marmalade skies, this might be our last trip of the year here because it's probably going to be wet now for the rest of the year. Where'd you come from? Are you climbing around the corner, are you? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm not throwing stones. I'm not. Pushing it around here because you're going to fall and hurt yourself. Kim has hurt her thumb. Which thumb have you hurt? The right hand? Yeah. It's really painful. It's like twice the size. And not from climbing, but from crocheting. Yeah, look at that lump there. You might be right on the crimp, though. There is, there is like a pinch or two. And not climbing for two weeks is bloody awful. Yeah, it? it's really awful. I'll do it on top <laughs> ropes, see if I can remember the moves. <laughs> yeah, oh, work out if nothing else, eh? are very nice to me. Um, I put a lot of anatomy videos on YouTube and I think what's happened is that there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of people, a lot of personalities and our personalities have kind of, you know, it works for you. You do kind of mesh with people that are similar to you. So I don't think that, I mean, you guys say that I do a good job. I don't think I'm that great a teacher. I think I've still got a lot to learn, which is part of what teaching is. So I thought I'd um, tell you about some of the people I work with. I don't mean that guy. In the medical school, we don't have a, an anatomy department, so we don't have a head of anatomy, so I'm not the head of anatomy. People might refer to me as such, but... And what I've done over the years is we've managed to recruit some really, really good people, and I learn a lot from them. This is Marcy. Marcy is from the Czech Republic. Um, she has been teaching probably longer than I have, and she is most comfortable stood over a cadaver. If you spend a couple of hours with Marcy in a cadaver, you will leave knowing more about anatomy than you realised there was to know. I dream of being able to recall as much anatomy in as much detail as Marcy can. It's incredible. Students love her. Students love spending time dissecting with her. She's one of those teachers that teaches in ways that I think that's not the best way of doing it. That's not going to work. The students aren't going to get what she's trying to describe. And they do. The students get it and they love it. And I learn from watching what she does and think, okay, I could do that. This is Andy. Andy's approaching retirement. Andy's a, an ex-bone biologist who loves teaching so much that not only did he teach while being a researcher, but he also got a job as a master's swim coach. Master's swimming is for people who aren't children anymore. You, you make people who know how to swim, swim faster. And he enjoyed that so much, he then became a kid's swim coach. So he was working as an academic and teaching children how to swim, just because he likes teaching children how to swim. That's how great a teacher he is. He is, you know, when people are that experienced and that late in their career, you watch them deliver information so naturally, easily and confidently. And not just that, but check and measure how well the students are getting it. And the depth of knowledge and skill at that stage in your career 
is something to be jealous about. <laughs> I'm going to miss Andy when he retires, I really am. I think I've learned more from Andy about this job that I'm supposed to be doing than I have from any formal mentor, line manager. <laughs> and this is Chris. Chris is an ENT surgeon who is trying to move into academia and his role as a surgeon has shifted more towards teaching um, well certainly as much teaching as surgery -ing. his knowledge of anatomy above the clavicles as he puts it is awesome and if you start talking about the anatomy above the clavicles you will struggle to get him to stop but he is so much more than that his knowledge of anatomy throughout the whole body is uh, solid um, he's younger than me, growing in his academic career, um, and his, his level of preparation, his organisedness, um, the careful way in which he presents things in such a beautiful manner, and I mean visually as much as descriptively, is um, something to be cherished and something to chase after if I could prepare as well as he can. Needless to say, the students love him. He explains things so well, and his attention to detail is fantastic. And I don't mean detailed anatomy, I mean in the detailed things like making sure students get that concept, picking out the concept that's most important, and so on and so on. So that's what I'm up against. I have very luckily surrounded myself with really good teachers and really good people. I learn more from them than they do from me. We all look after each other and support each other and um, hopefully it's all a bit of an additive effect hopefully we all brush off on each other a little bit we're not in competition but I think I'm going to need to step up my game what do you think? Yeah.